It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Norwegian Animal Ethics Conference today. Among the topics that you'll be considering is one that I think is really the most important, and that is how do we live peacefully with other animals? As human beings, we are very powerful on Earth, and we're constantly making decisions about who lives, who dies, and why we have made these decisions. I'm a big fan of the new growing interdisciplinary and international movement called Compassionate Conservation. The foundation of Compassionate Conservation is that the lives of each and every individual matter and that we need to strive to take into account the well-being of each and every individual using non-lethal humane techniques. The real world is a very complicated place to live, and I understand that fully, but I also believe that it's wrong to just go kill animals because they become what we call, quote, pests or problems. And so relying on principles of compassionate conservation really demands that we first do no harm. So as an overriding moral principle, I would like to say that first do no harm, be our guide. And I believe when we begin trying to live peacefully and coexist pe peacefully with other animals, if we really strive to live with them and keep them alive, it'll be a better world for all of us. So one thing I like to really stress because of my own personal experiences is that I live in the mountains outside of Boulder, Colorado, and I've got black bears and cougars and foxes coming by my house regularly and an occasional coyote and some bobcats. And I've had very close encounters with these animals, but I've chosen to live where I live. So therefore, I've had to make decisions that change my life and also the life of the companion dogs with whom I've shared my home. I would never, ever advocate killing any of these animals. And I've been within a meter of a cougar on three occasions. And last year, a black bear chased me up the hill by my house as I was riding my bicycle home. And some people said, oh, well, really what we need to do is we need to cull these animals. And cull really means kill. And I said, no, you can't do that. And about 10 years ago, there was a cougar on our road and he had killed a deer. And the Division of Wildlife came up and wanted to kill the cougar. So myself and six neighbors on the road, I don't have any close neighbors, formed a line between the shooters and the cougar. And we refused to let the cougar be shot. So in summary, it's great that you're having this meeting in Norway, because these are some of the most difficult questions that we're facing is how do we coexist with other animals? We've redecorated nature, we've redecorated their homes by moving into them, and we've put them under pressure. So in sum, the life of each and every individual matters, and I believe that we can look at compassionate conservation as coming to our rescue and providing guidelines for how to live with other animals peacefully. I wish I could be in Norway at this meeting because I'm sure that this discussion is going to be very lively. And it's okay to ask difficult questions and to think out of the box. I believe we're only going to make progress in living with other animals when we ask difficult questions that perhaps make us feel uncomfortable. So good luck with your wonderful meeting.